the third attempt. The string that we have is black and it's really skinny so it's hard to see what we're doing. We've got a car here that's put together, it's ready for some string, so I'm going to measure it out. You do have a measurement for your string which you can use, but you could also just kind of estimate it. It needs to be at least this long, and then you're going to need room for a knot, and you're going to need room for your loop. So maybe add about 20 millimeters, to, or a couple centimeters to it, you'll be fine. Alright, so I've got a piece like this. Here's the easiest way that I've found to tie the loop. If you just loop it back like this, you have these two pieces, okay? Then all you're going to do is tie it around, okay? I'm going to show you, just like this. Oh, here, let's try it one more time. Look. There you go. I got it looped, all right? Okay, so then I'm just going to tie it like I would tie anything else, and I'm going to tuck this little loop right back through here. Okay, you see, just like tying a knot, like that, hope you can see that, and now I've got a knot that won't slip, works perfect, then what I do is I measure it just to the axle, just like this, okay, if you can see that, just to the axle, and then I come up like this, and go to where I need to be, here, and then I'll hold it in place, and then I just wrap it around a couple of times like this so the length stays right, and then I'll tie a knot, a couple of knots like this, maybe two or three, so it won't come undone, we'll do three for good measure, okay. Now, I should have a string that reaches just back to the axle, and that's perfect, and I can cut off the little excess there, little excess there, and I'm good to go.